Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's a message for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising sign. This is an energy reading, so you call it into you when you are open and receptive and need to hear something in this message. So it has found you at just the right time, Scorpio, and it's going to cast out for the next seven days, so for the week ahead, and I'm going to break everything down seven day play by play. Scorpio, this is where your message begins. Now, there's truth transcends illusion. There's truth coming out. And I love how this card just kind of like is gentle, but it also is blunt because it says truth transcends illusion. So it doesn't matter how hard you or somebody else is trying. It doesn't matter. What matters is this week, the truth is coming out. It doesn't matter if you've got the whole government. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. Truth will always be more powerful. And this is the week, I don't know what situation is, we're going to get into it, where the truth is coming out. Now, a lot of times, since these readings are very much your energy, they're the meta-conscious of Scorpio, it could very well be that something you have been lying to yourself about, you can't lie to yourself about anymore. It doesn't mean that this isn't happening on the outside of you, that this is all in your head. It just means that you can't look the other way anymore. That there is some issue where there's no running or hiding from it anymore or pretending it away. There's no such thing as pretending this away. Now, overall, this is fantastic news. It's not always the easiest news because a lot of times the lie that we the lies that we tell ourselves or the lies that somebody is telling themselves helps to protect their ego. And ultimately, there is no protection from the ego anymore. There is no more illusionary trickery. We just have to accept that what is real is real. So I think that's good news. But Scorpio, let's get deeper into it to see and understand Please know that whatever cards fall out while I'm dividing the deck are just going to stay out because they're part of the reading. If you're looking for a personal reading, I do provide those. Go check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com, and you can book and schedule right there. You'll get your message in 24 hours. And then if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you do subscribe to the channel, Scorpio, and ring that notification bell, selecting all notifications so that you know when I upload your favorite content, but also when I go live. So you can participate in the free tarot card readings I do here. Let's cleanse the energy. <coughs> Scorpio. So far, everything's coming out in the future. Let's get the baseline. Truth transcends illusion. Okay, what? What, what, what is going on? Transformation is beautiful. So once, this is both, trans, both of these are transformative energy and they're both, well, this is Aquarius energy because it deals with truth. 
um, but almost like the truth of what you can be or the truth of who you are comes out. Uh, this is very powerful energy, actually, because it's a demonstration of all that you're capable of. So ultimately, there could be an announcement of some sort, wherever this is, there's that sense of leveling up and everybody knowing about it. And then we also have take a leap of faith. So there's a, you're very powerful and very strong this week. There's a lot of confidence that is, um, that you have right now. Now, I mean, this is going in a different direction than I expected it, but really what it says is, I know who I am and everybody else is about to know who I am too. And everybody else is about to see. Now, Scorpios do not, Scorpios do not tend to be, hey, look at me, people. That's not what they are. And so what you guys tend to do is you like to um, control from behind, control from like, like almost like a puppet master. Um, this is not the case this week. The week, this, this is saying that your brilliance at something, how good you are is coming out. So no matter what you've tried to do to sort of downplay what you feel or who you are or what you're capable of or what you've been doing, that's, it's not going to hold up. There's going to, uh, so much, so often Scorpios, you really do hide that, the, the light side. You're more than happy to let the world see the darkness. So the part of you that you protect is the part of you that is that brilliance and that kindness or that sweetness or that tenderness. And so that that's really left only for people who really deserve you or you, you've gotten a chance to trust. Um, I've got to say, this is beautiful energy. Ho hold on. So we have make your dreams real. This is also scorpionic energy. So something that you have been weaving or putting together or conniving or contriving, this can be very manipulative energy. I just think it's something that you've been building. Five plus six, 56 adds up to 11. So an awakening, an awakening of all that you are capable of and really not willing to accept less anymore. And then we have a rebirth is assured. This is a change. Five. This is also a sense of awakening. And, and awakening to either. A tr I think it's awakening to, to show what you're capable of. It's like I don't, I don't have to hide this anymore. You don't have to hide this anymore at all. And then trust the great mystery. We have six, five, which is also adds up to 11. So you have 11, 11 here. So this is a great awakening of all that you're capable of. I think this is a debut of something that you have created. And that, that if you needed to know, this is a fantastic time to do it. Holy moly, Scorpio. Let's get day seven. We're going to do the seven day breakdown. I'm going to... I'm going to draw dates the seventh day and see how it all lands, how it all plays out until we get to that seventh day, like how it all. I knew there was another one. Let's go day, day one. So the day that you see this video, what the heck is happening? So we have somebody who is doing a lot of hard work. This could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Somebody who has been working very hard, does exceptional at what they do, but they kind of put their whole selves into their work. Um, very good at organizing. Extraordinarily responsible energy. This could be somebody you know, or it could be an aspect of your character, but that's what's coming out. So for me, as the reader, it kind of says there's just... Um, that's an aspect of you. Uh, there's also a, a bunch of conflicts, a bunch of maybe somebody's working really hard, but they've been dealing with a lot of issues. They've been dealing with a, uh, confronting with a lot of issues and things just seem to keep coming at them. I think this is a sense of finding confidence. 
You know, it's like realizing that, that the issues are just going to keep coming at you and piling on top of you if you keep your head down and don't say anything or demand anything. <clears throat> Knight of One says you're finding your confidence. Knight of One says there's this energy of I want to move forward, which could which could also correspond to take a leap of faith. This sense of I'm sure of myself. I know what I want. There's a certainty here now. Okay. Hold on. Let's see day two. Day two is something that's hopeless or just not working out. Not being able to even figure out why am I doing all this work and nothing is happening. Knight of Wands could be some somebody coming to aid another person or taking action with regards to all the crap somebody is having to face which is a bunch of stupid shit and then we have the seven of pentacles which is um um no matter what i try to do it's not working out i can't figure it out i'm constantly getting disappointing results okay And then we have four of pentacles. It's because we're stuck not taking any risks. That's the problem. And maybe that could be the realization of the reason why nothing is moving forward is because I have gotten into a routine and a habit and I, I, I don't want to take any risks or chances. That's the secret to why things haven't been moving forward and why all you've been doing is fielding a bunch of bullshit recently. Right? You've, you've got to get out of this comfort zone. Or you've got to stop taking the punches. Just because you can take them doesn't mean you should be taking them. The underdog rises. And then we have heartbreak. You know, you guys, you take so much. Pain is almost something that you pleasure in. Until you start to realize, till it breaks your heart, <laughs> you start to realize, yeah, this shit ain't worth it. And it's not worth it. <clears throat> it's like something, somebody kicking you down and down and down to the fact that you feel like it's almost like they think it, they could do anything they want to you. I think that that's really the Great Awakening, isn't it? It's almost like Scorpio when you're going to get tired. This is in reverse. Oh, no, this is upright. Yay. There's opportunities that come in day four. Or realizing I'm not going to continue with all my eggs in one basket. I'm going to actually diversify. Based on what makes me happy, I'm going to see what else is out there. Because suddenly, after this heartbreak is official on the third day, liberation. This sense of, I'm going to diversify. I'm going to go beyond. Maybe somebody has tried to limit me and make me think I shouldn't or I can't or I'm wrong if I do. All of that is untrue and you're challenging that. And there's a, there's a level of strength in you that should be challenging that. What about day four? <laughs> there's an offer of love or an offer of interest. There's putting your heart out there and letting somebody know that they care or somebody letting you know that they care. And there's just this energy of beautiful happiness, um, happiness beyond your wildest, wildest belief. And then you have Virgo energy. There's, I don't think this is who you're dealing with. I think that this is you. This sense of self-assuredness and certainty to know that what I feel and what I'm going through is enough. Because I don't want to see you being broken down and heartbroken and then get that high, these addictive extremes of, 
well, somebody finally comes in and makes an offer and it's like, oh, things have changed. Now I feel so good and happy. And now somebody loves me and I feel good about myself again. Because some of you, very low vibrational scorpionic energy, you guys are watching this video to, to find out who's coming back into your life. But why is your life absolutely no good until somebody comes back into it? This is about finding self-worth without needing validation. This is you that's taking a leap of faith in your own happiness. This is you that's allowing yourself to now shine and get credit where credit is due. Okay, what about day six? Day six is you're stretching yourself out there. Day six is, you, is you've decided to commit yourself to slow and steady expansion. This is Sagittarian energy. It could be foreign, could, you know, just opening yourself up to more diversity, more cultures, maybe even international trading if this is business. This is a sense of I'm ready to do this now. I don't have to, I don't have to rush it. It's going to be a slow process but I'm ready to start it now. Or this has been a long time coming, this healing that temperance brings. That being able to actually not take things to the extreme, but instead find that beautiful balancing point or find a way to make something work that you thought couldn't be resolved. It's taken a long time, but by day six, that's when it arrives. Okay, stop. Let's get a moon card. Because we do have a full moon coming up. Let's get a moon card. Moon card. For Scorpio, please. Okay, so we have uh, you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. There was already a new moon in Cancer. Now this is talking about next year. Why is that showing up in the future? And then we have don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Can we get some clarification here? Well, don't let your past hold you back. Getting out of your comfort zone. Getting out of that area that you already feel good in. And then you would... It's almost like you have to be willing to risk it all. Or this isn't your responsibility anymore for the future. Instead, there's just this sense of I have to do things for me. I have to do what's right for me instead of handling everybody else's shit, which are just, they're just going to keep adding to. So it's not that you're throwing somebody under the bus. It's that you're not assuming any of the extra responsibilities or duties that come along with making everybody else's world okay while you sacrifice your own. Uh, you're about to piss some people off this week, Scorpio. Because when you readjust and start prioritizing your own goals... And that takes away from everything you add to everybody else's life. People are going to get pissed. But I think you're ready for the fight. Can you please clarify why are you and your loved ones safe? You feel like you've left them exposed. This has been like the heartbreak or part of the sadness. That you have left these people exposed. Or that, that that's what you're thinking. But that's not what's, I don't think that's what's actually happening. I think you're stepping out of the comfort zone and people now have to start taking care of themselves. Why is you and your loved ones are safe in reverse? Can we please clarify? You didn't want to start something new. Two of swords because somebody was sideswiped, didn't say anything, didn't, or you were forced out of your comfort zone. This could be the catalyst. A sense of you realizing that if you don't make this step, you and your loved ones won't be safe. And that's why it's in the future, because it's not decided yet. But you have an inkling that at this point, even though you don't know all the answers or you're not certain, you have got to leap 
or else you're actually compromising what is most important to you. Confirmed. Let's go to the extended Scorpio and we will get deeper into this energy. The link is down below in the description box. I've also pinned it right to the top of the comments section. Let's go to day seven and I'll see you over there. <laughs> 